we're going to test out and discuss the strategies that's being used in stage 2 of the Squid Game, the Dalgona Candy Game. We're going to see if it's really effective, if it really works. But before that, we have to make the candy first. Alright, run us through then. What do we need? I have my sugar, I have my baking soda, I have my frying pan, I have oil. Oil is important guys. This is the main ingredient that a lot of people missed it out and that's why they failed. You need the oil and yeah, I got my piak piak. Like, yeah. We want to make it big and nice and round, not like a small, tiny, puny one. Uh, should I should say that, right? Yeah. We want to make a big, nice, round one like the one in the game, not the small one that some of the recipe calls for. So we're going to have two tablespoons. One. Two. Oh, 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 it's cooking. Ah, what should I do? Traditionally, it's being used using white sugar, but you can use brown ones as well, although I don't really see a lot of people using that. Brown sugar will caramelize faster compared to white sugar. So we need to get it heated to a temperature of 160 degrees before it started to caramelize, but yeah, you wouldn't know the temperature anyway, so just wait until it turns brown. Lah. Why does sugar caramelize? When they hit a certain temperature, they will start to decompose. And when they start to decompose, that's where the sugar molecules will break down and that's where you get caramelization. So before it burns, you've got to stop it. And that's that, that sweet moment in between, right? It's called caramelization. Oh, some, start, some parts start to burn already. Ah! Okay, okay. Now we add a pinch of baking soda. Okay, one and a half pinch. Oh! Okay, it starts to bubble and because of that, the colour changes. Oh, it colour changes! Okay, so it, it changes to this very nice creamy brown colour. So the purpose of the baking soda is to create carbon dioxide bubbles in the sugar. So that it puffs out a little bit and it has that little bit of tiny bubbles inside. And when it cools down, it becomes crunchy because of the air bubbles that is being created. Oil it, ah. oil it. Ah, ah, yeah, I need to oil it! Yes, 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 the oil. And then we press it down nicely. Yeah! Yeah! And then we choose a shape and we oil the shape. Okay, okay, we're gonna take with the hard shape, okay? Cause oppa, oppa, oppa. Okay, and then we press it down. Oh, it looks very nice. <sighs> eh, one hit wonder, eh? One hit wonder. Surprise. Oh, oh, very nice here. So it has cooked down sufficiently. And look, it's a very nice hot shape. Use parchment paper or known as wax paper, baking paper. Basically, it's like a non-stick paper so they can easily pull the candy out, which is very, very, very sticky. Yeah. Oh, 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 I cracked it. Oh, I cracked it again! How? Oh! Oops. All right, I guess we're gonna fast forward. Yes! Let's go. Let's go! Your candy, like, have a lick of oil on it. Oi! Why are you showing it to the camera? Now that MJ has made a few candies, it's time to start our experiment. We're going to try three different strategies that is being shown in the squid game. The first will be the OG carving method. The second will be the burning method. And the last method will be the licking method. Yeah, let's start right now with the carving method, the OG method that everyone has been playing with for the longest time. Oh, it's actually very, very difficult eh. All the shapes, right, they have a line of weakness that is being created by the shape press. The key is to break along the line of weakness without breaking the shape that is inside. So for this OG carving method, you're just using friction to scrape off the outer part. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh! Actually, I didn't even do anything. I just kind of use pressure and then it breaks along the line of weakness. Which kind of makes sense. It's how you can tear paper while you fold it. It will just tear along the line of weakness. Okay, okay, now this is the difficult part. It's, the, it's, it's this curving one. I think this is where a lot of people die. <gasps> oh, oh, wow! You can see the hard shape! <gasps> it came off! Hey! hey it's not too bad. Is this counter? Yes, right? Yes, so. Ah, I did it!
not as bad. Woohoo! Okay, next method. What's the next method? The burning method. I think this should work really well. In terms of time and efficiency, I, I would think this is the best, but let's try out. This, this is the oh, okay. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh, it melts directly into the sugar. Oh, oh. Okay. burn it and then place it down here it might be taking too long already and it smells quite strongly eh, you know when you burn the the sugar so the guts will have noticed and then hey not too bad okay i mean i i i'm supposed to be dead by now but all right but that took you like almost five minutes is it longer yeah I don't know, I think for a more complicated shape with a lot of curves like the umbrella, I think this method would work better. The last method... Is it even considered a method? Yes, it is. So the director actually told people in the interview that it was a trick he used when he was younger and because of that, he kept winning championships. I guess it's a combination of not only dissolving but also the enzymes from your saliva that melts the sugar. So guys, when you lift up the Dalgona candy, you're supposed to see the beautiful line that represents life and death for you in the game, let's lick our way through. Ah, ah. Oh, very sweet. Ah, um, your tongue is turning brown. Huh? Really? Ah? Ah, you know you don't have to make the sound. Ah, ah. The tongue also... Are you tiring? We're two and a half minutes in. Ah, ah. Oh, you guys, can you all see? What? The bottom one especially, the, the line is forming. I guess for like, umbrella, you should do this method, right? It's like the safest of all. Eh? I guess so. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's very nice, right? It's like a nice. Come on, you only have like less than two minutes left. Huh? Oh, oh, I got it out. I got it out. But oh, it's Congrats, three. you survived! Oh, All three worked! But there are pros and cons for each of the strategies. So for the carving method, it is effective, it's actually pretty fast, but chances are there's a high rate of breaking it, especially when you are too nervous and you just like eh. And the burning method, well, it's pretty effective, but like you might burn a bit too much and when that happens, right, the cracks become small obvious and you can crack through the, the shape more easily. The last method, the licking method, it is pretty effective as you can see, the line of weakness really forms after you lick a while but it takes a really long time. Although I would say for very challenging shapes, you should use that method because it's the safest. That's all for today. My tongue, I cannot feel my tongue anymore. Eh? And it's brown. Hey, to time to day. eat. We're going to make Dalgona coffee. That's all for today. Just keep thinking. 